building. All right, it's nice to see all of you here tonight. We're sorry to take a break in the middle of this to give you a lecture, but it's important. It's about the puberty stages of medical school. So, yes, medical school development. So, as you can see, we're going to start off with the developmental stage, and we're going to move on to some other things later. But you want to be So, on to the next slide. Tanner staging in medical school development. You might have remembered Tanner staging. It's when you have to look at really awkward pictures of development. <laughs> and we will have plenty of awkward pictures. <laughs> if you haven't seen them yet, you're going to be bombarded by them shortly enough. So, first disclosure. Okay. Our first disclosure we are both uh, representatives for Honey Boo Boo Incorporated. Honey Boo Boo Child! We sell Go Go Juice. Research the effects of Go Go Juice and how it makes you... Bobo juice make me crazy. <laughs> also, Blue Ivy Industries, we both personally attended the birth of Beyonce. It was beautiful. We were All in, six labor rooms. We were called into emergency observe. We were the emergency med students. Uh, also, Ani will speak to anyone. The next one comes from Nijam, a very established metal journal. Which stands for the New England Journal of Modeling. It's where we learn to smile with our eyes. <laughs> and sashay away Shantae's day. You better work. And finally, a very serious note, Hipster Prevention Council. The bane of our existence, hipsters. Do you, do you know where your children are? Are they listening to ironic music? Do they have <laughs> Watch out. Alright. Well. Center stage M as zero. We will start from the very beginning. You've received your acceptance letter and you are joyful. This is going to be the best moment of your life. The apex, would you say? You peaked, really. She's so happy. She's this, is, this is Anu. This is actually Anu the day he received his This is me. Four short years ago. He looks back I, I lost my hair in medical school, obviously. <laughs> So, instant intelligence and superiority complex. You are instantly smarter than all your friends not in medical school. Yes. <laughs> you use phrases like, I'm practically a doctor. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Then you also notice that your friends all seem to have the diseases you saw on house this past week. <laughs> and you go to people on the MBTA and pretend to podcast them. But you don't even know what podcast means. Because you're an idiot. Paul's percussion looks awful, my eye. You suddenly feel you can leverage the health policy debate. As you can see, these people haven't even been accepted yet, and they're walking along. Because the government cares what med students think. Because med students have so much medical knowledge that they really care what we think. It's very important. It's very important. You're also telling your friends you can't do things because you need to protect your license, so you're on your best behavior. Yet you're still afraid of your Cory check. And well, we all. Will that noise violation from college come on my background check? I got pulled over last week. Am I going to go to medical school? I'm terrified. <laughs> we all planned to quit drinking before medical school started, didn't we? We're all going to stop drinking the day we start getting our white coat, okay? There we are, on our last day of drinking before Look how beautiful school. the life was before medical school. <laughs> and I would point to the, my fine toe point that I have on the right side. That's part of our modeling portfolio. Mijum, that is all Mijum. You wear your white coat everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. You are the douchebag who is the doctor for Halloween. I noticed there's, there's some inappropriate white coat wearing right now. I know. Because right now you should be wearing your white coat, right? At, at kickback? Yeah. Okay, okay, makes so much sense. Start anatomy, instant surgery. Start with theology, instant internet. And this is near and dear to my heart. You take biochem, you're an instant PhD. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. Oh, and if you listed BMC as an employer of yours on Facebook, when did that last paycheck come in for you? I think you're the first employee to pay their employer, no? That is the first reverse employee I've ever seen. A reverse employee, idiot. You love everyone. Everyone. Glubar Boosie, what is that Glubar Boosie? What is that Glubar? school, you as well. This love is... It. Love it. Because you don't know anything, that's why you love it. 
No one doesn't like you, they just don't like that you like it so much. <laughs> it's okay. Really. I'm gonna stop drinking by second year. Okay, I'm gonna stop. This was our last day of drinking before second year began. <laughs> Sun of shades in tow. I rock a lot of color. <laughs> so the summer between uh, first year and second year, you will either publish three papers from eight weeks of research. True randomized clinical trial research. In those eight weeks, you know what happened. You can be included in this awkward group of people. <laughs> so beautiful, so beautiful. Only lookers going to medicine. The only other option that there is a medical school for that summer is to go and be part of a service work opportunity, as long as it involves third world children. As long as you travel somewhere and you take pictures with people, suddenly you're an international health person. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing like a summer filled with spicy brown babies. Right? <laughs> 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 filled to the brain. So then you put it on Facebook and show everyone how worldly and developed you are. And then you start thinking. I will stop before second year starts. I will definitely stop. I have to stop. This is our other last day of drinking. Now, this is very important. There's a affective disorder that is focused just for the standard stage MS2. It is called Bored Affective Disorder, and some of you may have heard of it two years ago. Some of you are suffering it right now. I am so sorry. What's that? Social withdrawal. These are the these are the things you block yourself from, except for Wikipedia and Blackboard. Doctor Wiki and the Blackboard. Hypochondriasis. You, you will have every single disease you study. From head to toe. I had sarcoidosis three times. Thank you for the integrating criteria curriculum. So don't worry about that. Vitamin D deficiency. Because Doctor Harlequin must be known. Yes. I was there for this pic, this is me, <laughs> two weeks before my board. So Rogue is helped on. The hair grew back, thank you. Q-Bank Associate is dysphoria. You take Q-Bank and Q-Bank and you keep on getting 30%. <laughs> and then you are like, do I really know anything? And Q-Bank is like, no, you idiot, no. <laughs> Many of you have never seen this much red on a paper. It means bad. It means bad. They didn't just use a red pen to write how great you are. It's bad. And you'll see this every day. If you related to all the bullshit. So whenever there's a board review or something, some douchebag was up <laughs> yelling out answers before you even get a chance to think. It'll happen to you. You'll say, I'm never gonna be that person. And then you'll scream it out. <laughs> I can't bring it back. It's been said. First aid paraphilia. <laughs> you wake up next to your first aid after a long Friday night. I carry my first big everywhere. It happens. And then you'll stop drinking before boards. Before boards, I need to stop. You will have to stop before boards. Our last day of drinking before boards. Now we become MS3, and this is an incredible transition, and we all change in many ways, but it is interesting to take from a different perspective how we actually change. Yes, unfortunately, no one realizes this because they're stuck in third year. But you're in this special hover zone as an MD-PhD, watching all of your friends go into the clinics together, and they all hate each other every single day. <laughs> the secret is, though, it's a miscommunication every time. Someone will come to you and say, Oh my god, he just told me that there was going to be a meeting at 7, and it was at 6, and I missed it. He's trying to screw my grades over. <laughs> then you go and talk to him, he says, no, I told her the meeting was at six, and she uh, she misread it apparently. And then they, they but they're never friends again, and they never speak again. But me, fabulous for the rest of forever. <laughs> Everyone that was me is this beautiful angel that descended on their heart. The most popular questions: When can I leave? And what are you on? What are you on? PhD. Hmm. You gotta fake it till you make it. You know, that, that is the goal of third year. You gotta fake it till you make it. You better work. <laughs> okay. uh, and then you will write all these notes that will be read by everyone, obviously. Yeah. And we'll go to us. And this is actually a picture that we snapped of the Boston Medical Center medical student note handling facility. <laughs> <laughs> In an expose report that we've done. <laughs> so much time. <laughs> 
You will constantly pretend to be interested in everything. Every single person. Rectal cancer, oh my god. I want to see that. I remember when Ahmed was in his gynecology phase. It was Imagine strange. I'm discharged, I'm forced out to the whip test. <laughs> Then you'll quit drinking for applications even. This is my last day. Before ERAS is submitted, I will stop drinking. That's a great thing. Now both here arrives. Money! You are king or queen of medical school. Basically by four years. Medical school royalty. That's all right. Because you are. But there, are. there really is no money involved. It's only money spent traveling. <laughs> And then okay. you stop Why did I make my MD? Done. This is our last day of drinking. Last week. Take a break, words. And then Tanner Shade PJY1. This is still pretty newer. Still under investigation. We don't know how this works yet, but we, we know one thing for sure. We know it for sure. You're going to cope with alcoholism. <laughs> so. Alright, well thank you for being great audience. Wherever, whatever tennis seat you're at, don't worry. It will get worse, and then better, and then worse again. Yeah. <laughs> and for those of you in second year, it's going to get worse and worse, and then you're going to take boards, and it's just going to get worse. <laughs> we love you all, though. <laughs>